It was the following Sunday, and they were in the middle of an urgent planning session. The walls were covered in sketches, diagrams, and lists. A list of possible pranks. This list was long. A list of great pizza toppings. This list was even longer. A list of old man Barkins weaknesses. There was nothing on this list. The problem with the pepper. Miles had his mouth full of jelly beans. Is that Barkin knows we pranked him, but nobody else does. Right, said Niles. He was lying on the floor with his legs up so far against the wall that he was almost upside down. I mean, does he eat a lot of spicy foods? Or, and this is a scary thought, has he, like, trained his mouth to handle heat? Like, is he having, making himself prank proof? Maybe it's just mind over body, Niles uh, said. It's tough, said Miles. I mean, let's say we replace one of his power speeches with blank pieces of paper. Wouldn't work. He'd just make up some amazing speech on the spot, and nobody would ever know. Yeah, said Niles. Or he put a track on his chair. Well, no, I mean, he would probably have spent his whole life developing super strong butt muscles that repel sharp objects. He just sit there and smile. If you prank someone and nobody knows. Is it even a prank? Niles asked. Miles squinted at Niles. You should probably stop lying like that. I think the blood's all rushing to your head. Wouldn't that be a good thing? said Niles. What? Well, then my brain would be getting more blood, more nutrients, and oxygen. Fine. Miles was pacing. What does your well-fed brain think we should do next? Niles just lay there, legs up. Niles, said Miles. Niles, Niles, what? What are you thinking about? That sign. What sign? Yawnee Valley Science and Letters Academy. It has been one school day since our last break. On Thursday after school, he watched Principal Barkin slip a bold black one down, covering the rightmost zero. The pepper prank, a prank Miles was quite proud of, have been obliterated from Yanni Valley history. The sign in the hall, the prank sign. Okay, well, I'm trying to talk about Principal Barkin. The sign is Principal Barkin. Part of being friends with Niall Sparks was sometimes having no idea what he was talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's not just a sign. It's an instrument of power. A doomsday clock. Every time he flips over a number, the closer we get to escape. him. 
Eschgaten, Armageddon, Cas Catastrophe, The End, Barkin Wins, We Lose. Niles was making an odd expression. His eyes were unfocused while he chewed at his lip. Miles stared at his friend. he never seen Niles make this face before this last week. And now it was happening all the time. When had it started? When old man Barkett had taken Niles' sash? After Barkett swallowed the pepper coffee? Or even earlier in the library? After Barry Barkin had been fired. Niles, said Miles, listen, if what you're saying is true, then maybe we don't need to prank Principal Barkin to beat Principal Barkin. We just need to stop the sign, right? Miles' eyes snapped back into focus. Right. So let's do something. We know we're good at, said Miles. My friend, I believe we've been looking at the wrong barkin. Niles flipped his feet over his head and turned to face Miles. Miles smiled. Let's pray, Josh.